Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim across the globe that's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Okay, it's the brother Yah Rock. I'm back once again. And uh, Lord willing, this will be a, a, a quick, straight to the point lesson. All right, with that said, I'm going to start with the. Uh, uh, the scripture is 2 Peter chapter 3, and uh, I'm going to start at the 8th verse, okay? So this is 2 Peter 3 and 8. It says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as thou as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. But it's long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Okay? So, right. Uh, verse 9 it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Okay? And the verse above, you know, uh, as it said, you know, a thousand years is but, uh, but a day to the most high. Okay? You know? And, uh, at the end of the day, you know, this is the most highest movie, okay? This is, you know, he's the one in control, okay? So everything is being played out according to his will, all right? So I'm going to read verse 9 once again. It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, okay? Uh, right. So that there, you know, uh, the, man, the most high is a man of his word, okay? Uh, the scripture says he's not a man that he shall lie. Okay, so these things, you know, uh, that's taking place, you know, us going into captivity, all right, uh, you know, uh, by us I mean the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, who are the Israelites, okay, we have to go through these events. We have to go through, uh, you know, this this uh you know events man all right that happened to us as a nation okay all a part of prophecy okay um you know but it says the lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but it's long suffering to usward okay not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance okay so right you know, we're given a grace period, man, okay? Uh, you know, through the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, okay? Being put up as a uh, sacrifice, all right? So that we can, uh, you know, make amends, so to speak, to the Most High, okay? You see, um, you know... I wanted to mention that, right? So, once again, it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but his long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Verse 10, But the day of the Lord come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Okay. So, right. Verse 10, once again, it says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right. Um, in the which in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Okay, that great noise is by the uh, thermonuclear missiles. Okay. The ICBM missiles. All right, that's going to uh, be targeted towards America, Babylon the Great, okay? You know? Um, and also, a part of that destruction is going to be from the uh, chariots of the Most High Power, okay? Shooting those uh, concentrated, uh, you know, laser beams, man, okay? To bring forth uh, destruction upon this place as well, okay? It says... Uh, the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. 
seeing that seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in our holy conversation and godliness? Okay. So right, knowing uh knowing these things are are, are going to happen, okay. These things are part of prophecy. All right. What manner of persons are you to be? Right? And the scripture said it, you know, in our holy conversation and godliness. Okay, going into your your conduct, how do you conduct yourself? Okay. How should you uh you know live? You know? You see? Um verse 12 it says, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the, of the most high. Okay? So right, we should be hastening for the day of the Lord, man. Okay? Now, you know, it's it's one thing to say, you know, you don't want the Lord to return, you know, but you have to uh cuz the scripture just said it, you know, how should your conversation be? All right? So it's one thing to just say it, you know, but you, your actions have to d display your your faith in that, man. Okay? So as the scripture says as well, uh, faith without works are dead, you know. But, right, you should be living your uh, a lifestyle, you know, of one that is uh, hastening for the day of the Lord to come, okay. As far as uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay. So I'm going to read verse 12 again and continue. Uh, Second Peter three and twelve it says, "Looking forward and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, uh, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness." Okay, so right, that's what we seeking after, man. Okay. The kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, where righteousness uh, will reign, man. Okay? You see, because this place, as we know it, is under the rule of the under, under the hand of the wicked. Okay? And who is the wicked? Esau, the so called white man. Okay? You see? And, you know, we should be in a, uh, you know, first of all, just, you know, seeking. For this place to be destroyed, man. For the wicked to be taken down, okay. Because with that, a righteous kingdom uh, uh, will be set upon the earth, man. To where we can uh, live and, and rule, you know, in, in in righteousness, man. Okay. See, so uh, right, Second Peter three and thirteen. Nevertheless, we according to His promise. Look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Okay? Right. So once again it says, Where beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Okay? So right. When our Lord Yahweh Shah comes back, okay, uh, where were you standing that day? Okay. You see? That's why it says, uh, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace uh, without spot and blameless. Okay? You want to be found in good standings when the Lord returns, man. Okay? Once again, showing that, you know, the laws are not done away with. All right? You don't have free will. Okay, you can't just do whatever the hell you want to do, and and, and all of a sudden the day that the uh, the Lord returns, you can just you know receive salvation. You know that don't that's not how it works, man. Okay, which a lot of our people have no idea, man. Okay, uh, um, you know the scripture I believe it's in Amos. You know it says, "Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord." To what end is it to you? Okay. Right? Especially in the so called Christian church. All right. You know, you think that uh who the world perceives as as Jesus, all right, being a, a so called white man, e uh, effeminate, okay, uh 
is going to come with open arms accepting any and everybody, regardless of what you do, all right, regardless of what nation you're from, okay, that you're just going to be accepted with open arms and, and float into the sky, you know, no, that's not the case, man, okay, you see, the Lord is coming back to issue out a judgment, okay, and he's going to start with who? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? The Lord says, start in my sanctuary, okay? So if you're not uh, found in good standings, you know, in that day, then death is destruction is uh, going to be upon you, okay? You see? Um, so going back to Second Peter, the third chapter, uh, verse 14, it says, Well, for beloved... Seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Okay? So, hey, and that should be a, uh, something to instill fear in you as well, man. Okay? Um, you know, as the, uh, as we should all have, fear in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay? But uh, continuing on, verse 15, it says, An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. Okay. So that's the, uh, the point I wanted to make. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end there. Uh, so once again, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakhakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim that's pushing this word in our truth and sincerity. Shalom.